Buen viaje. Feels good, man. Feels good to be back on the water. Hang loose, man. <laughs> it's been a long time. Tight lines and loose tempers, bro. <laughs> oh, we forgot a net. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't, we ain't landing nothing. <laughs> that just reminded me when you said tempers. <laughs> Watch out for that. All right, fellas, out here for another adventure. Today we are fishing and going downstream, way better than going upstream. So this river is pretty dang fast for how small it is. Lots of little rapids. But we're gonna get to our gravel spot and hopefully be able to find some fish. So that's the plan for today. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Nothing like pulling these big old stillies out of the river. Oh boy, this looks sketchy. Like a foot drop. Hang on to your paddle. Can you imagine the fishing being that bad that you build a freaking teepee? That <laughs> <Not> bad. Because <laughs> yeah, you're not building a teepee if the fishing's good. <laughs> you're fishing. <laughs> All righty, fellas. Well, we got down to the spot. It's getting towards dusk. Uh, it's a nice, warm spring day. It's getting up into the mid 40s. Um, but this space, this place is one of my favorite places to come up and, and fish just because we can get away from the people by getting in the kayaks. We floated down here to this sandbar and this place, we had some success last year. Hunter caught a couple. I had some close calls and some brown trout and some steelhead. Um, but yeah, just out here enjoying spring. It's warming up and you know, just a ton of fun out here fishing. So um, I'm going to show you guys something, do a little review for this huge, <laughs> this giant um, fishing backpack that I just got. Um, Bash Dash actually sent it my way and said, hey, sent me an email, said, hey, you wanna check this out? And man, when I looked at the pictures online, I couldn't resist. So here it is. This thing is freaking awesome. So um, let's take a first look at it right here on the stream. So first thing to really note on this thing is, man, it's just got a ton of pockets. Right here, let's just start at the top. We got the pocket for sunglasses and a second pair there as well. I went ahead and I unzipped all the zippers that way you guys can see it. So there it is, all the pockets. So up top, we got the double, double sunglasses right here at the top. So you can put one here, one here and one there as well. Um, and then working down from that, we got the top pocket and plenty of space. Honestly, you could put almost a whole, a whole tackle box in this as well. So um, that's a pretty cool section. Um, another front pocket, you can put a whatever, plenty of mesh compartments in the front and some of these as well. Um, another rectangular pocket and then tons of side pockets right here. Something for the water. You can put your pocket knife right here. Um, and then right here, this is kind of where you put a lot of your fish and stuff. So right, this thing holds three, three of these plastic separators for all your tackle gear, man. A bunch of crankbaits, <laughs> a bunch of crankbaits and soft plastics in there. Um, over here, we got another, another side pocket mesh, and then up here, I believe these are for 
um, connecting rod tubes so you can put them right on the side of your backpack when you hike out pretty cool um, and then on the bottom it's got a hard hard shell bottom so you don't have to worry about it falling over I really love this type of backpacks whether it's hunting or fishing you know to have that and then again they have the option for another another um, separator or uh, organizer there for your tackle all right, fellas, so here I got it on. Nice and good fit. One thing I definitely like about it is having the dual straps. So if you're hiking out to a spot, walking walking in far, which I do quite a bit, um, you're gonna feel comfortable and be able to haul all the gear, because this thing is big. You're gonna be able to put a lot of weight and a lot of gear in there, and so you really need the hefty backpack. So, you know, here it is kind of kind in motion using it. Definitely, definitely solid. Um, so I know, I know that probably the one thing I'll hear from people um, on this one is man that thing is too big so you know just be aware of that they do have smaller sizes um, for the guy who has a lot of gear you know this is going to be perfect if you don't have a ton of gear and you're worried about how big this is they definitely have a smaller one i'm definitely going to be using this a ton this summer we i do a lot of small mouth floating so throwing this in the kayak right there in front of me it's going to be perfect so anyways guys um <laughs> that's all for the review i'll put the link down there below um, but i think we're about to bounce out of here we had a lot of fun getting out here first initial kind of um fishing trip of the season so you know i don't know how many videos i'll put up here on the channel for the fishing you know from smallmouth to northerns to trout and steelhead uh, you know let me know down below if you guys want to see any of that and if i get enough comments i'll definitely put some videos out um, along with all the off-season waterfall content I got coming this year. But that's all we got for today, guys. I'm Jordan, Deccan Chronicles. We'll see you on the next one. Let's go.